Your Excellency, Bless Compaore, President of the Republic of Burkina Faso, Chancellor Robert Hensler, City of Geneva, Dr. Madun Ture, Secretary General ITU, Chairman of the ITU Council, Ministers, Ambassadors, and ITU officials and staff, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure to be with you here today and to see many of our colleagues who were instrumental in making last year's Connect Africa Summit in Rwanda such a success it was. We applaud ITU's hard work, in particular, Secretary General Dr. Ture, for your leadership and for harnessing the power of technology in order to extend its benefits to communities worldwide. I'm also most grateful for the invitation to participate in the discussions on how we can strengthen cyber security, online child protect protection, and greater use of ICT solutions to mitigate climate change. Distinguished friends and colleagues, now more than ever, there can be no doubt in the vital role of ICT in development. This is why we are very pleased to co-host with ITU the groundbreaking connection Connect Africa Summit in October 2007. The summit provided a platform for taking stock of challenges and achievements as well as mapping our way forward and building a dynamic ICT sector in Africa. Investment in this sector continues to rise on our continent as we register improved infrastructure, regulatory environment, competition, with the African private sector leading the way. More ICT applications continue to improve people's lives in sectors such as health, education, and wealth creation generally as many firms, informal, small, medium, and large expand and contribute significantly to our social economic transformation. Excellencies, as we are all aware, just as the borderless cyberspace makes the internet a powerful vehicle for spreading and deepening knowledge and innovation, it also exposes global users to cyber crimes. It is encouraging to see that conception and implementation of strategies to confront and contain such activities are uh, generating momentum. We must, in this respect, draw on the success and experience of existing models to build global awareness and develop practical tools for governments, educators, and parents to minimize risks to young people. The youth are natural and enthusiastic adopters of technology, and many routinely surf the web and participate in online chat rooms, network, and view all types of information and data, some of which are very harmful. For this reason, protection of children and young people must be one of the central pillars of any efforts to, assure, to ensure a safe 
online environment. Friends, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, an additional challenge facing us is how to harness ICT to help mitigate the devastating effects of climate change. ICT has a central role to play in climate modeling, forecasting, and monitoring, as well as in preventing and responding to natural disasters. Newer technologies can play an even broader role, helping limit greenhouse gas emissions through more energy efficient designs and greener production processes. ITU and other agencies should work even harder with manufacturers and service providers to develop innovative solutions that respond to environmental and developmental challenges. Let me at this time make a few comments on our own situation in Rwanda, beginning with the fact that creation of cybersecurity frameworks was one of the resolutions at the Connect Africa Summit in Kigali. In this regard, we have had a policy and regulatory framework since 2006, and several initiatives have been launched to build capacity to ensure that we have, secure, we have secured the ICT infrastructure we are developing. As the national fiber backbone extends to all corners of Rwanda, scheduled for completion next year, 2009, we have incorporated security measures, including firewalls at each node. We are also establishing a cyber security center to monitor contraventions and take corrective measures as we roll out the one laptop per child program, which will drastically increase internet access among the youth, it is imperative to incorporate more effective safeguards. The insights from the important ITU Council meeting will make valuable contributions to these efforts. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude by acknowledging once again the critical role ITU is playing in fostering a more vibrant ICT sector globally. We once again applaud ITU's leadership in extending the power of technologies to improve the livelihoods of communities worldwide. It is now my great pleasure to declare this high-level segment of the ITU Council 2008, and I wish us all fruitful deliberations. I thank the head of state from Burkina Faso who is here and the other distinguished guests for being with us all, and I thank you very much for your very kind attention.